This video looks at all of the best submissions from the World Cadet Judo Championships. So the cadets are the under 18 judo stars and I'm going to kick things off with a nice setup for a choke. So initially it looks like she's going for a bit of a canto choke variation. And as she escapes from the Osai Komi, she switches it. And you might be thinking, that's not Karahe Jime. But did you notice that hand? It was Karahe Jime. Next up, we've got a very nice Chuji Gatame. So she's working hard to get the choke. She ends up switching from the right arm to the left arm. Now Sodo Garuma Jime seems to be gaining in popularity in recent tournaments. Nice hip throw there. And there it is, straightening the arms under the neck. Hard to see where there was a tap there. Perhaps it was verbal. Now she's clearly in bad physical condition but the ref tells her to get up. She's lost her balance. She's really unbalanced. She goes to bow and you can see the head bobbling about. It's a really poor refereeing there. Now the next two clips will be from this Canadian lady so here's a very nice one. It's a Ude Gatame applied from an Osai Komi position. So it looked like she was going to get a Sankaku Gatame. We couldn't lock the legs. Pulls the arm. The opponent rolls over to avoid being submitted. Looks to me like it's Ude Gatame. Some might say possibly Ude Garami. A little bit hard to tell from that camera angle. And here she is again with a Juji Gatame. So, cross knee guard pass. Doesn't complete the pass, goes direct for the arm. The leg comes out. She ends up in guard and is on the bottom. She continues with another Juji Gatame attempt and gets the submission. So it's not surprising to see a Belgian girl winning by submission. A little bit more surprising to see a Hadaka Jime. I can't remember the last time I've seen Hadaka Jime in the women's division. If you're an MMA fan, you'd know it as rear naked choke. So this one is a come from behind victory by the girl in blue can do the leg grabs on the ground so she goes into a Kataguruma from her knees and she traps the arm and it actually looks like she throws the hand across the throat to try and grab a lapel for a choke but because she's pulled that judo gi so much the judo gi collars behind the opponent's shoulder so she transitions into Jujigatame the opponent rolls out she must be pretty flexible because it looks like a pretty pretty well applied Juji Gatame. And then finally we perhaps get into a change of position here. I'm not actually sure whether that should be considered Juji Gatame. Please leave a comment if you think it was something else. Now there are a few Sankaku Jimes at this event and this one did result in a submission. This is by Oruk Simen, or Sinem of Turkey. She won the under 63 kilo division. She was pretty impressive and looked like this one just got tighter and tighter. You never know with these submissions whether they're just submitting because they can't escape Osai Komi or whether the choke was on. She's got the legs squeezing heel heading backwards towards her rear end. 
So it's a pretty good indication that it might be a strangle. Sin M1, the under 63 kilo class, but in the team's event, she was beaten by the French under 63 kilo player by Juji Gatame. And the French went on to win the championships. Slightly unusual circumstances as the Azerbaijan team that was in the final only had four players. So I think the French team only actually won two matches. They ended up winning another two by forfeit to get a 4-3 win. Here's Sakamoto of the USA. Very traditional standard Okurieri Jimmy where you grab the collar and pull down with the hand going under the arm. And here's another Sankaku Jime. Of the Sankaku Jimes I've included here, this is the one that I believe is the most likely to be a choke, not just a submission because she had trouble escaping Osai Komi. So at the moment, Osai Komi has not been called. I always feel like when you're belly down, in that Sankaku Jime position, it's an easy way to get things tighter. She's finally able to get her into an Osai Komi position and she taps pretty quickly. So we're only about a minute into that match. So I think that was a legitimate choke. I think she would have kept fighting to free herself from that Osai Komi if she wasn't feeling the strangle. Now here's Brazil's Ray, and she was able to take Juji Gatame. Had the leg trapped in half guard, but was still able to complete the submission. So this is a one-handed choke. You'll have to let me know if Okurieri Jime is the right term. I've seen the IJF use Katate Jime for similar chokes, and I don't think Katate Jime is correct. Okurieri Jime seems closer. But leave a comment if you've got a different idea. So this is the final of the Sankaku Jime clips. If you like the Sankaku stuff, you're going to like the best pins video from the cadet championships I'll put out in a few days because there'll be a few more Sankaku Gatames. So this one, I'm not really sure whether it's a strangle or not. She does seem like she wants to tap fairly early on, but I'm not really familiar with applying this hold myself with this type of leg configuration.